Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump is standing behind his uh, statement to bar all Muslims from coming to the U.S. Jibril Huff, who's with the Islamic Center of Charlotte and joins her right now. Uh, your initial reaction to this, I'm going to guess, negative. Of course, negative. Um, not really surprised anything that Donald Trump would say, even though he's taken it to levels that even his Republican counterparts and Republican leadership uh, can't stand beside. Yeah. So it has really gotten out of hand. Uh, in many ways, though, I see this, I see Donald Trump as a monster. Does this personally affect you? I mean, does it yeah. personally affect you as a Muslim and your friends? Yes. Uh, m my daughter even mentioned uh, to me um, uh, yesterday that uh, about our, our uh, summer vacation plan, she was like, well, I can't go there because uh, we might not be able to get back in the country right. because we're Muslims. Right. You know, so, I mean, it not only affects me, and it's having an effect on my daughter because she keeps up with the news and, 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 and what I'm doing and, and everything like that. So, yes. Uh, Are you surprised? Me. Bloomberg, did, Bloomberg uh, did a snap poll. Two-thirds of Republican voters agree with Donald Trump. One-third say uh, the state would make uh, them more likely to vote for him. Um, are you surprised by that, Fun? No, because what I was getting ready to say earlier is Donald Trump is the monster that the Republican Party has created. Uh, every every national election, they play the politics of fear, and they throw red meat out right. to the uh, voters. And the red meat are issues surrounding Muslims, whether it's the 9-11 mosque or with yeah. the Surveillance Patriot Act, who we're going to uh, go to war with next. Can you understand, though, uh, the average American's confusion about the situation, the ongoing situation regarding terrorism, uh, the seemingly deep-seated hatred that some Muslims across the world have for Americans and for the country as a whole, and that's spurring this feeling, perhaps this feeling? Yeah, but uh, it, uh, that feeling has been exploited. Uh, when you have uh, Muslims probably doing 0.5% of the terrorism in this country, uh, and, and you have uh, people in leadership uh, not speaking of the folks that uh, shoot up uh, the, the Planned Parenthood uh, Clinic and, sure. and Dylan Roofs and people like that, you skip over all of those people and you speak to the 0.5% uh, crazed Muslims that are doing something, then then that that's not going to make us any safer. I think a lot of Americans have uh, an, an idea, an opinion, that Islam is a violent religion. How do they educate themselves? Uh, well, What's they go the truth. They go talk to actual Muslims uh, w with someone that maybe a coworker, maybe a neighbor, or uh, go visit a local Islamic center. Find out who the Muslims are and what we believe. Uh, yeah. We are not a religion of pacifists. We're not Quakers. Uh, we do believe in self-defense, but uh, Islam is not a violent religion. Uh, uh, Islam is peace through the submission to the will of God. Yeah. And any anyone who is practicing that faith will not kill an innocent uh, human being. Is there something on your center's website that might help educate people? Yes, uh, they can visit the w website at the Islamic Center of Charlotte, uh, Islamic Center, uh, iccharlotte.org. Yeah. Uh, pick up the phone, give us a call, uh, okay. come by and uh, come by and see us. All right. We've just scratched the surface here. I realize that, but we're out of time. Jarela, I much appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Thank you. That's our end of conversation for today.